Welcome back to the Expert Walkthrough for Dark Souls 3, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host. Let's play Dark Souls HD. And this little wall behind us here, this little, I guess, uh, a shrine you would call it. Hi, Gale. Um, it's sort of like a foreshadowing of what we're about to run into because, if I remember correctly, in the last video we made it to the boss. Now we just have to do the decons, the deacons of the deep. It's a pretty cool boss fight. I like it. I mean, it's gimmicky. It's gimmicky as fuck, but that doesn't stop it from being cool. I can only assume I'm going the right way. Yeah, it's right up here, so... Oh, shit. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. I'm usually wrong about things. I enjoy killing these guys in one hit. I will say that. Giants don't respawn. That's good. Yeah, we gotta get through this damn slime. Uh, this thing, this thing does kind of okay against these enemies. I'd really prefer that these guys drop Titanite shards. But they won't. Alright, buddy. Yeah, you just... Don't do anything regretful. And I'm thinking because of the nature of this weapon, we should do additional damage to these guys, I think. Don't hold me to that. Oh, fuck. I don't want to get the big guy's attention. Okay. This guy's kind of a problem. Hello. Woo! That jab attack. He really canceled me out last time with that. Okay. He has a lot of poise, too. Shit, another helmet. <laughs> I'm really hoping for that, uh, really hoping for the drop on that, uh, sword. I really like his great sword. Or ultra great sword, technically, it's called in a Titanite Shard. I will definitely take that. Okay, I need you guys to die. Two must die as well. And I'm pretty sure we have cleared this level out. It should be everything. We got the Covenant up above. Let's admire the scenery real quick. The roots remind you of anything? Uh huh. Alright. Big ass fog wall. Dead giveaway. Firebombs will probably help during this fight. What else do I have that'll be useful? I can't buff this weapon. Which is fine because it'd be too damn strong if I could. I think this'll do. Here we go. And now it's going to leave. And I mean, oh shit. And the more you attack these guys, like, the more they come back. So it's like, I don't know. You want to go for the damn red orb, that's the whole point. Well, until they... Eee. Let's do some weapon arts here. Ooh. 
Oh shit, that sucked. That was very underwhelming. No, now where is he going? Yeah, buddy. Front flips. Whatever you do, don't let them surround you. They will do that. This guy, easy. Ah. Oh, come on. Now they're going to start casting this other bullshit over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. Of course, they use the force shit. Alright. I can get around these guys. And then they're gonna start healing him, too, I think. Shit. Curse this. Uh uh. Oh shit. Come on. And you get the small doll and the soul of the Deacons of the Deep. So, wow, that's cool, man. Like, this particular thing up here, like you see all these statues up here, it reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of the movie Immortals, if you guys have seen that. I actually used music from Immortals in uh, one of my videos on my channel when I did the, <laughs> shit, way back in the day now, when I did my uh, hype trailer for... 10 days before the release of Dark Souls 2, I used Immortals in that video. It was uh, The song is called Sky Fight. It's really, really good music. Um, that movie has an incredible soundtrack. That's what it reminds me of, though, and it is fucking cool. So, I mean, the whole thing, like the gimmick with that fight is, obviously, if the curse builds up, you die. So, a uh, curse in this game is like Dark Souls 1 curse. It's like... When the curse build goes to full, you dead. You cursed. So uh, it's not like, I don't know, there's levels of curse in Dark Souls 2. It's not like that in this game. Uh, we are done. Finished. Completed. We are fucking done with the Cathedral of the Deep. And I'm going to go see what the miracle and the sorceries are for these souls. Because I think you can get a little, like, candle sword thing. Hello, why are you standing? Hmm. I see that you are now a finger of Rosaria. Your path is wholly different to mine. Gentle and kindled, I bid you farewell. If we meet again, it will be as adversaries. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're telling me you want to fight now, then... Shit, girl, we may as well get it. Yes, I see. An arrant finger you've become. Very well. Come on. I will cut each finger from the hand. 
Good luck. Paul declines. <laughs> he does not release his forgiveness to you, youngin. Okay. Did we get any kind of undead bone shards or Estus flasks or anything? Let's find out. We don't have very many souls. Um, I sent Grey Rat to pillage. We'll see if he's back yet. I think I saw his little hat. Upgrade this. Hmm. You know what? No, I'm not going to. Uh, da -da -da. No flasks, no nothing. Okay. I need Titanite scales for this thing. <laughs> Yeah, you be careful too, buddy. Gray Rat, let's see what you got. Oh, hello. <gasps> Alright, he's got some goodies. The Spy Hunter. That's a cool weapon. The Pontiff Knight Shield. It's kind of cool. Looks cool anyway. Kite shield, which is basically the Dranglick shield. That's the shield I'm using in Dark Souls 2. No shit. You don't really have anything else. You have arrows. Good ones, too. Hmm. Not much of anything else, though. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. So I did give all of the ashes I had to this lady. I don't think I showed that on screen though. So yeah, you know, I gave her the all the ashes that I've found up to this point. She sells some good shit now. So and she got all kinds of stuff that's useful. Lloyd shield ring boosts damage absorption when HP is full. That's a good ring. So is that. That is heavy as shit, is what that is. And so is that. Jeez. Ashen one. All right, now we gotta go see his tiny little ass up here. Hello, Henri. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road to sacrifices. Henri of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldridge's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldridge is said to hail from Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. I see. Aldridge's honest home. Alright. <laughs> That's all he ever says. Alright. There it is. Let's read this little thing. Silverwork doll depicting a young squire. Small, so yeah. In the legendary old city of Irithel, situated. In the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithil. Wherever you may be, Irithil is your home. I can't wait to do him. Pontiff Sullivan is a really cool boss fight. Uh -huh, Alright, what can I get with my fancy new soul item? Um, sorcery of Archdeacon Royce and his deacons said to have been imparted to them by McDonnell of the Boreal Valley. Fire's Dark Soul Drags. 
souls which swell from the deep pursue their target, drawn towards life. It's pretty cool. That requires faith. Alright. Candlestick uses both sword and catalyst. Guiding light. Hmm. I don't have the faith for it. See, here's the struggle I'm facing, though, is I may as well hang on to this soul because what I'm going to end up doing Treat. is, uh, as much as I want to continue using a, uh, like a strength ish bleed build whatever I've already ventured out and use the dexterity to have this great sword as my weapon so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna use um, what she called what's her name Rosaria that's it um, I'm gonna have to start going to Rosaria to redo my skills because I've made the decision that I'm going to redo my build in Dark Souls 2 my PvP build that I did on PC um, he had, like, the Drake Blood Armor and stuff like that. He was a quality hexer, is what I called him. He had strength and dexterity weapons and a shit ton of aggressive hexes. So that's probably what I'm going to do on this character. Spoiler alert. And uh, I think we're done here for now. I don't really well. Let me use my souls at least to see if I can level up. Very well. Then hey. All right, I can level up once. That's fine with me. May as well raise my vigor. I'm surprised I'm not up to 20 vigor yet. Let's see what kind of soul items I have. None. Okay, I've only got these little tiny ones. All right, that's fine. So now we get to go to... Carthus, and it's gonna be fun. Um, hold on just a second. Hold on just a second. All right, this thing weighs eleven. These weigh nine. Weigh Sixteen. I can't. Oh my goodness, I can. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Alright. This is going to be our weapon choice here because it's blunt. It's a strike weapon. It probably... It'll probably do better than uh, the great sword. So, oh shit, I should have upgraded it. Whatever. We'll see how it does. I'm probably not going to need to upgrade this thing a shit ton to get through here because it's already a super powerful weapon. It's strike damage. And it's got a high base AR, so... Or my total AR, it's got... Total total AR is like 292 with this thing or something. Uh, something decent. So it should be just enough for this place. Hawkwood is not here. Normal, yeah, part of Hawkwood's questline involves coming here to fight him. And I don't see him, so we should be fine. Alright, let's kill these guys for sport. I know the dark rates are coming too, so. Yeah. That motherfucker's trying to heal. Don't you be putting that disrespect here. Okay, dark wraith number one. Come on. Yeah, this thing does pretty good. Oh shit, that was such a poorly timed parry. God, I'm bad. There we go. Oh 
All right, the gauntlets. Finally got the full set. Damn. It took me forever to get, like, everything else. Or it took me forever to get those gauntlets. Like, I had, like, eight of the legs. Because when I was farming those guys off screen, like, just for souls and stuff, I got, like, eight of the masks, eight of the legs, four of the armors. And I never got, uh, I never got any of the arms, like the gauntlets, so. Glad I finally got those. Took long enough. Alright, Catacombs of Karthus is similar to the regular other catacombs in Dark Souls 1. It's, uh, that lizard. <laughs> I want him now. God, if this was Bloodborne and I had a cannon, oh, brr, perish. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. But we'll be patient. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is nothing. Now, these guys, on the other hand, these badasses with the swords are totally different story. Carthus Rouge, I really enjoy. It's very fun to use. I just got more souls, randomly. I think that's what I heard. There's sound lag between what's really happening and what's being picked up from... There's a trap here. Or no, no, it's not a trap. It's the damn... Yeah, I see you. It's uh, the camera. The lock-on will get you killed here. Yeah, I don't think so. Give me that. I really like the Karthus Curved Sword. Um, not the big one, not the great sword, but just the regular Karthus Curved Sword. It's one of my favorite weapons to use in this game. Wow. You guys don't stand a fucking chance. Uh, all right, that one was free. You wait till I get up to you. That was free. Um, hello. I think this is where the curved ball thing is, or that the giant. You? No, 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 no. There's one with a hat. There's one with like a pointy little wizard hat. And he's the worst. Because he activates things that you don't want activated. Shit. I'm doing so bad right now. Like I'm being sloppy as shit. Oh shit. Now, this thing is unbelievably sloppy. That item, I want it. And I know how to get to there, so I'm not going to jump from here. But, um, this weapon is much slower than the greatsword, but it's not a problem. That. Ugh, these guys. These are the problem down here. I mean, they're not a problem problem, but it's like they're a pain. <gasps> Come here. Oh, sweet! He gave me Kukri and an upgrade stone. That was worth... Worth the trouble of inviting him to come fight me like that. Alright, there's more down there. This is the item I was looking at. Sharp gem, thank you. It's a good item. It's useful for dexterity builds. Uh, sharp weapons are, I guess, uh, like similar to sharp weapons in uh, Demon Souls. Who the fuck is... Oh. All right. Let me 
get rid of him. Now we gotta pull this guy. I think this is a Curthus Curve Sword guy. Yes, it is. Here he comes. Wow. They've got nothing. This place is fucking cake with this weapon. Who embered? And thank you. Or not embered. Kindled. I can't think straight. I'm really tired right now. <laughs> it is eh, just after midnight. And I am sleepy. Oh yeah. These guys can't do shit. Not with this thing. Thank God for damage types. With skeletons, they don't like strike damage. Like, take Demon Souls, for example. If you go to the Shrine of Storms in the very beginning of the game, you can pretty much steamroll skeletons with your bare fist because it's considered blunt damage. So... How on earth did I not accidentally step on that the first time? M confuse. I might have to watch out for those, I guess. Alright, he's first. Oops. There we go. And that's that. The lizard's still way over there. Yes, the lizard is on my mind. Nothing is going to take him from my mind. He's honestly the only thing I'm worried about right now. I just want to find a way down to him so I can fucking kill him. Alright. I think he's... Where the fuck is he? Did I lose my way already? Oh, he's... Oh, yeah, he's over there. Okay. So now, guess let's go down. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. More upgrade stones, thank you. We have stuff to upgrade. So this is necessary. There he is. I will find a way to you. I must. Alright, let's do this. Normally these guys... Uh... Please hit something. Come on. Yeah, come on. Fuck. I didn't even mean to do that little shove. That was stupid. I'm not confident in the damage on my bow to shoot him from here and kill him. But then again, hold on. I might be able to. I don't know. Let's... Let's try. Actually, no. I'm not even going to chance it because he drops stuff that I need. He's not the one that I want to chance. Come on. You want to have a Legolas battle? I don't think you do. This is pointless. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. Um, it's through here. We already killed him. Okay, that's what's through here. It was 
Literally just another way to get around. Okay. I'm good with that. These things gonna gather? Yes, they are. Die together! All for one and one for all. Soon we're gonna get to the place with the pots that come alive. Well, not come alive, the ones that start shooting stuff at you, though. Henri! What are you doing? I think that's where the lizard is. Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, Horace? To my shame, I was snared by a trap, and we've become separated. I've not been able to find him since. No. Yes, I see. Horace is a valiant knight. He can look after himself, no question. He's probably searching for me right now, with twice the resolve. If you happen upon him, please tell him that I remained in the catacombs, and I will lay prism stones to guide him, as always. Please send him word, I beg of you. May the flames guide your way. You don't sound too happy about it. If you happen upon <clears throat> her, the doctor, and please... Oh god. Phew. Thank god. Need that twinkle sprinkle. Can I lock onto you? I can't lock onto either of you. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a good old fashioned Legolas battle. Rule. Oh shit, that one can hit me. You ready? Ow. Shit. I'm like, there is sticking out of my tits. Jeez, I'm one in my elbow. Damn. This shit is rough. Okay, what's the next step here? I guess going down that thing? Yeah. It's gonna have to be. <clears throat> There's nowhere else to go in this direction. So, down the steps we go. And the giant ball of rolling death. It's the best part of this level. And I'm not being sarcastic either. It's really the best part. It's really funny. Like, when you see it, oh my lord. <laughs> it's funny. Just watch. <laughs> Let's look at it. <laughs> it's literally a big pile of guys just going, Wee! Like cheese from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Wee! Alright, cool. Let me get back up here where it's safe. Wait for one more trip. And go! I don't even know how you would like kill this thing. Like that, maybe? I don't fucking know. I. I do know that it basically breaks this thing. <laughs> so. You. You're the answer. This giant ball pile won't die unless he dies. There it goes. Cool. This shit's broken. A knit bone shard. Fuck yeah. There's a bonfire right there. Alright. It's time to double our efforts, men. We need to make it to the bonfire. Because this episode's going slow. Oh shit. Oh, don't parry me. I didn't even do that much damage, but still. Oh, this is what I was talking about, though. 
like the hexi barrels. No, don't kick. Why the kick? Why the kick? Why the kick? Die. They're going to keep coming back, too. It's these things. The bone barrels. Alright, there's Karthus guys here. Um... Ow. That didn't do a whole lot, but still. Eee, the pursuers. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. No. Okay, Karthus Milk Ring. You want to like this thing? I'll show you why I like it. What like I do, I do. Slightly boost exterior and obscures rolling. Huzzah! 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 Alright, come here. Oh shit. Oh shit! I think we're done. Struggling. And I'm wearing skull. Alright. Dexterity is obviously not going to increase my damage with this weapon. It's a strength. I. It's a strength weapon, but. Uh, ooh. Jeez. Don't hear me. Please don't hear me. Fuck, don't hear me. This can get bad so quick. <gasps> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, you just stop. Oh shit. No. Stay dead. Oh fuck. Nope. Mm. Yeah, these dudes come back like once or twice, something like that. It really throws you off too, because it's like you're thinking. Oh, it's not that bad. I mean, I can take these guys, but can you kill them twice in a row as easily as you think? Alright. Need some green blossom for this part. Pull these guys one at a time. Come on over. Come on. Shit, you need to die, like right now. Thank you. Alright, when I drop the item, that's kind of how you know for sure that they're dead, I guess. Some of them will come back twice, though. And you want to be damn sure that you don't fuck with those ones. Oh, shit. Whoa! Backstabbing these guys is obviously the easiest way to go. Oh, he gave me a shield. Alright, I'll take that. It says soul items. You'll catch zero complaints from my... Okay, look. Just because I'm tired doesn't mean you can fuck with me hardcore like this. You will remember. Anybody? Any phantom? Yee! Where is he? Where is the fucking guy with the hat? <laughs> A large shard is what I needed. Alright. Um, I know he's gonna be down there, I think. like this. Let's, uh, let's not sit at it, though. Alright, I know you're down here. Oh, fuck me, rats. <laughs> Fucking rats ain't a problem. <laughs> <laughs> big roly ball guy. Alright, big rat is the problem though. This thing can do a lot of damage. 
poison the shit out of you. There we go. Oh, shit. Well, at least the rats don't poison the shit out of you. Oh, fuck. Oh, bone wheels. This is like, this is the part where it's basically not even a game anymore. Like, once you get to the bone wheels, it's like, this is life or death type shit. It's not a game. There's an invader down here, I know that. And so I'm pretty sure it's basically like Iron Tarkus. Okay, that's... Night Slayer Sorg. Okay. Oh, fuck. Here we go. See what we can do about this guy. Fuck! Whew, that was close. Wow. What an enormous amount of damage that will do to me if it hits me. Alright. You gotta be kidding me! No! Uh uh. Uh uh. I need to fucking kill this guy. Uh-uh. Holy shit, he's unstoppable. Okay. Uh, let's take this out here. Bring your ass out here. You stay right there. Fuck. I'm trying to use the skeleton ball against him. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Come one, come all. Uh -oh. That's it. That's it. Stay right there. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my god. Shit. I can't go that very far over there because there's a guy over there. Uh-oh. Fuck, man. Is it coming back? Uh-oh. Yes! <laughs> Alright. I'm really not, like, strong enough to be fighting him, to be honest, but... Come back. Where is it? All right. Um. Yeah, stay right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call me a coward if you must, but that is how I deal with him pretty much every time. Yeah, you can't destroy that thing. It, it destroys you. I don't know what other monstrosities are waiting near you, so I just want you and only you to come over here. I think I have a good shield. Oh. Oh, fuck. No. There we go. Titanite and a Kukri. I'll take that. There's slimes. I think there's slimes around here somewhere. Oh, 
goodness. It's a trap. I know it's a trap. But it's a good one, because it worked! Alright, cool. A fire gem. Ah, that was not worth it. I don't even care about that. He has that shit on his sword that is legit bad news. Like, will bleed you and fuck your whole day up. So we have to deal with him like this? Sorry. Oh, no souls. That means he's gonna come back to life down there. <laughs> you have to kill him twice. Alright, let's... What the fuck is that? Oh, that's the bones. <laughs> did I mean, did anybody else think that was weird? Just looking at it? Like... I don't know. It looked like a slime with a... A chariot on its back or something. I don't fucking... I'm stupid. Don't listen to me. I'm tired. Enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks. Yeah. And then we also got a Emote. It was this one, I think? Yeah. Enjoy. Er, I think so, yeah. Fucking cool. Uh, mm, Titanite shards. Yum. Alright, and then let's see what's around this way. I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, we already went in there. Okay. That's what triggers the invasion. So you can get fucking cornered by him. Have your whole day ruined. So here's what we're gonna do. Pretty sure Mr. Hat Guy, controlling that skeleton ball, is over here. Fucking bone wheels. A damn fucking bone wheels. Alright, pal. Well, you've had enough. You have lived long enough. The fact that you lived at all is too long. What the fuck? Oh. You know, didn't I just say slimes? Yep, there they are. And I. <laughs> it's really messed up that I knew there were slimes. I'm, I'm out. Okay. Oh well. Gotta use feather arrows now. You get the fuck down. You too. Come on. Can you just not hit them on the first try? Is that what this is? No, you can. Alright, now Mr. Bone Wheel, come here. Don't be shy. You just make everyone miserable in all three games. I don't even remember if you can get the bone wheel shield in this game. We are getting a lot of shards. I'm enjoying it. Oh boy. Get on down here. Oh yeah, this doesn't do anything to them. They're not dropping shit like they're supposed to. slimes are there. There's one that I see there. Let's get rid of him for sure. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, there's one right there that I didn't kill yet. We're good then. Up oh, one more. Quit picking your butt. I know you're out of arrows, but you're gonna have to pull it together.
Oops. Come on. Yeah, it was me. Oh, shit. Come here. You don't get to live. Cause too much torment. Across this franchise. Die. I think you're the only one left. I think. I don't know. I'm probably wrong, but... <laughs> oh god look at all those this is awful what you gotta do what you gotta do let's get rid of them okay let's do this I mean, that's kind of doing all right. That's doing the job. May as well. Always gotta check before you grab Karthus Blood Ring. Let's see what it do. Boosts rolling invincibility at the cost of defense. So it increases your eye frames, is what it's saying. And that's fine with me. Alright, pal. Still having fun over here? You goober. Okay, where the fuck is that guy? I know he's around here, and then all these skeletons are gonna come to life and ruin it. The day will be ruined. Oh god, that scared me. Hey! Oh, damn. I thought there was an item. How about up here? Is he up here? Yep. Okay, you know what? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Alright. Come on down. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Most people don't the first time. It's okay. Oh, cha -cha -cha -cha. All right. Look. How the fuck can I still fast roll even with an arbalist? That's insane. <laughs> okay, I just like wanted to do that. Instead, we'll go back to this. A battle of bows is what you wanted, yes. That's what you're gonna get. Go behind a wall on me. Okay. 
He exploded. Wow. Oh, goodness. I need to watch out for those. I'm being really terrible about that. You. Come here. Ow. That's not very nice. Wow. You need to just quit. Oh, wow. He fell. Okay, no, he did not. Yee! What the fuck, man? Uh uh. <laughs> Thank goodness. You can do damage to them while they are dismembered. What is that? Oh. Comes back. Go oh, figure. Ah! I am so dead. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. If somebody could thank you. Wow. It's like on command. Ask and you shall receive. Is this the part with the grooves? I think it is. This is the shortcut where you can... Grave Warden's Ashes. There we go. This is the shortcut where you can go down to, like, the Demon Ruins. Isn't it? Yep. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the fuck is going on here? This was... Ah! It was a hidden room. Okay. What is this? Tomatoa wasn't always this glam. He was a drab little crab once. And now I know I can be happy as a clam. Because I'm beautiful, baby. Shiny. And now I sparkle like a sunken pirate wreck. Scrap the deck and make it look shiny. Now I'll sparkle like a wealthy woman's neck. Just a sec, don't you know? Alright, I'm done. Now, uh... Guess we... Go all the way down over here? Yeah. It's gonna ruin our day for sure, I promise. Wait till you see this bullshit that's about to happen. <laughs> All right. I've hyped it up enough, and now we're going to actually do it. Come here. Horus is way the fuck down there, I think. This part's awful. There's nothing good about it. Just take the item. Ugh. 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 Okay. Aren't they all supposed to get up? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not trying to jinx myself. I really hope they don't, but I'm pretty sure they do. Oh, hi. I don't want them all to come running after me and ambush me while I'm trying to talk to Henri. Ah, oh, hello. We meet again. I'm watching. Have you seen Horace anywhere? No. Oh, yes, I see. I've searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horace. Where have you run? He's down to? there. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um. Take this little tiny minor shortcut. And then. 
I don't know. I guess do this thing and Okay. So through here is a boss fight. I'm pretty sure this is Wolnir. I I think. I don't know. It's been so damn long since I played this. Um yes, Wolnir, I believe, is down that way. We want to go here though. I mean we don't want to. I'm probably gonna die, but I know Horus is down here, so. Oh shit, there's a stray demon down here. That's not what I want to do. I'm so... See, there he is. You can see him now. And a skeleton fell on there and died. Interesting. Um... This is not going to end well at all. Oh. Ugh. Maybe I can, like, poison him? Poison arrows, maybe? Fuck. Oh my god! Really? Alright. That's, uh, not gonna work. <laughs> Let's confirm that right now. That is not going to get the job done. We have to go down there and kick his ass. The skeletons will help. That should be pretty easy. But, um, alright. Let's make our way back over there. In human form. You. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's wait till he goes again. This video is already past an hour, but it's not a big deal. Ooh! Leave me alone. I didn't do anything to anyone. Stop. I mean you no harm. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Ooh, this devilry. Okay, uh -huh. Let's try this again. Yeah, get out of here. Horus is down there. He's going to be hostile, I know that. Alright, you motherfucker. Come on. Come on. God. That didn't work at all. Okay. 
Oh, shit. Skeletons. Beat the shit out of him. Shit. No. <laughs> no. That's it. Beat the fuck out of him. Minions. Hey, they got him. Cool. I gotta kill you guys, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm really glad. Like, ugh. It's really relieving that you guys were willing to do that for me, but I can't just keep you around. Can't you see I don't want you anymore? Just get out of here, you stupid, dumb animals. Okay, I want this. And I want this. And I'm going to have to go down there, too, obviously. Do these guys just come back infinitely? I hope not. No, they don't. Okay, good. Oh, God. Cool. And then there's a chest back up here. I know this video is dragging on. Like, normally I try to keep these under an hour, but... Um, I haven't been receiving too much complaints about the ones that kind of drag on. I tend to go past the hour mark. What else did I miss? I guess it was just the chest over here. And it's a fucking mimic. Go figure. Oh, man. Ugh. Nope. Eating me, motherfucker. Ugh, that's so weird. He's all gangly. Mm -mm. It's like Slender Man in a chest. Ooh, got me the symbol of avarice and the black. Blade. That's actually a Dark Souls 2 weapon, I'm fairly certain. Uh, Berserker Blade is what was called in that game. A short katana wielded by the swordsman and distinguished guest of High Lord Wolnir. This shiny black blade is thick, but shorter than the typical katana. The swordsman was a master of rare technique traces of which can be observed in this weapon's strong attack. Hell yeah. It's dexterity weapon, you know, whatever. Kind of like the kind of like the Uchi, Kenshin style. And it's got hold, so you can parry or you know do that. So. It's a cool weapon. I like it, but it's no spiked mace. So, all right, do we want to continue down this way or not? We may as well. Let's just fucking... Let's just knock it out. Let's go down here, kill Horus, and call it a day. What else is down here? Ooh, a bonfire. That's what. Damn. Maybe we don't have to go that far. The Witch's Ring and the Old Sage's Blindfold. Which is what the one guy uses that we're talking to. Alright. Let's see, this is going to be the part with the worms, I think. Yeah, it's going to be the giant lake with the worms and the shit and the fucking crossbow machine. Oh my god, the smoldering lake. Oh, Jesus. How I did not miss this level. See, it's got, let me tell you guys something about this level. It's really cool because you see it. And you're like, holy shit, this looks cool. These are the stone arch trees. This is, this is lore. This is awesome. This is fucking great. It's... 
Then the giant thing starts shooting at you. Giant crossbow explosive thing. And then the fucking worms come out of the lake. There it goes. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at that giant ass thing. Can't wait. Alright, um... With that being said, this is a great place to stop. Uh, the Smoldering Lake... I want to take my time with. It's one of the more enjoyable spots. It provides an excellent challenge, and I think that it's going to be a lot of fun for next time. We're kind of doing this out of order right now. Like, normally I should fight Wolnir right now, and then do this part later, but I don't know. For whatever reason, I'm excited to do this part, so I'm going to cut this one here. I'm going to do Dark Souls 3 back to back, so do try to do two at a time. But um, that's going to do it for this part of Dark Souls 3. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Mushy.